guys, it's me, Drew, and guess what just came in the mail? If you see the description on the video, you'll know. The Pharmacist Daughter Custom Loaf Order. Now, the Pharmacist Daughter had an uh, customs open about a month ago, maybe a little over a month ago, for their loaves, which I like their loaves because if you can tell, there's no foil in them, so they're just straight loaves that you can go ahead and cut. And they had regular loaves from their lineup, and then you had the ability to do customs. This is the first time I've ever done any customs from any vendor ever. So I was super excited. I did two custom loaves, and I got six, seven, mmm. A lot, a lot of loaves. There's a lot of loaves here. But anyway, I'm super excited to dive into these. These are some scents that I've tried in smaller quantities and wanted more of. Then obviously the loaves I, or the customs I created myself. So without further ado, let's first talk about the samples. Now I do have my phone here for the descriptions because they do not put the descriptions on the samples. I did get sent three samples. The first one is in Night Stalker. Now these first two are actually part of the Halloween pre-order, which I also participated in, the 31 Days of Waxtober. So I'm really excited to get that haul in for you guys. So Night Stalker, Flannel, Marshmallow Fireside, and White Clouds. Now I love the Flannel Candle from Bath and Body Works and Marshmallow Fireside is such a classic. I'm not getting much from this. It smells like a light, sweet cologne, which from the Marshmallow Fireside makes sense. The flannel, I'm not really getting that. Flannel's a very strong scent, so I was expecting this to be stronger, but it is a really small piece. So probably by the time my Halloween pre-order comes, I'll pop this in my bathroom to see. The next one is Boogeyman. Now, Boogeyman's description is Beechwood Vetiver, Asian Sandalwood, and White Clouds. So both of these have that White Clouds, which is just like a uh, like sweet vanilla type of scent. It's a little bunt cake. This is not my type of scent. It's it's very like like it says sandalwood vetiver, very masculine like green cologne. I feel like Danny would really like this because it is like that very fresh, clean cologne type of scent. It's not my type, my type of scent. I'll use it in like a bathroom to just freshen it up, but yeah, it's not it's not my type of scent. And then the last sample I was super intrigued by, it is called Five Flavor Pound Cake. And when I looked on her Facebook group for a description, it actually came up with this. White cake, lemon, French vanilla, coconut, almond, and sugar cookie. Five Flavor Pound Cake is a blend we created to replicate the scent of the actual cake, which is a family recipe that's been passed down and is really nostalgic and special to us. The original five flavors of the cake are almond, coconut, rum, lemon, and vanilla. So you get each of those fragrances and the bready cake scent that makes it smell like the cake just came out of the oven. And right off the bat, I smell like a coconut cake. Like a really fresh, shaved coconut cake. And then the more you smell it, it's crazy. The more you smell this, the more scents you get. I smell the lemon. I smell the white cake. And I smell the almond. French vanilla and sugar cookie are more like, you know, you don't really necessarily get those scents because they're just blenders, but lemon, coconut, almond, you definitely can pick up on those. And I, I think the pharmacist's daughter does bakery really well. Oh, it's a really good scent. I really, really like that. It's definitely order worthy. So onto the loaves, I'm gonna try to do the ones that are not customs first. So the first one I got is French Lemon Tart, and this says Lemon Chiffon, Pie Crust, French Custard, and Lemon Sugar. And I'm a sucker for Lemon Bakery. All right, so this sounds crazy. French Lemon Tart. I can see where that's coming from. If you are a shopper at Lush, this smells exactly like whoosh shower jelly the blue shower jellies 
it smells just like a, that was a super citrusy shower jelly. But like all Lush scents have that like soapy base smell and this smells just like that. It's crazy because in one side of me, if I close my eyes and think French lemon tart, yeah, I get lemon bakery. But then on the whole other end, I smell that Woo shower jelly and I can't stop smelling it. Crazy. Crazy. It does. It smells like a super citrusy soap. But, I mean, I also smell like lemon tarts, like a, a like a bakery lemon. So, it's, it's interesting how my nose is reacting to that one. Hole in one. You guys, I reviewed this whenever I got that big donut of this. I could smell this all day. Zucchini bread, blackberry jam, and jelly donut. Love, 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 love this scent. I mean, it is so bakery. Zucchini bread is just this comforting scent. Catherine King, if you're watching this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Zucchini bread is that comfort, that warmth, that cozy, but it almost has the slight hint of saltiness to it that makes you like want to lick the air and you just want to keep smelling it because zucchini bread's so good. And then you get the juiciness of that blackberry jam and then a little bit of yeastiness and also that really jelly-ish scent, like that real jellied fruit with the yeastiness of the donut. It's so good. Oh my god. And I love like bakery scents I've talked about before at night. So popping a little cube of that in my warmer before bed. Amazing. This is a custom. This is not. Z strawberry zucchini bread. Zucchini bread and strawberry white cake. So I, again, you smell that comforting zucchini bread. And then you get that jammy strawberry. I love strawberry and wax. I will say, I do love Hole in One better, but I'm a sucker for strawberry bakery, so this will always like be in my rotation. It's so good. Mm. Strawberry white cake for me is like that jammy strawberry. So that addictive, sweet, confectionery strawberry scent. And the pharmacist's daughter zucchini bread is not a crazy zucchini, um, like spicy zucchini bread. So it really turns out, turned out well. Lavender lemonade, totally a different element than the foodie sense. Pink lemonade and lavender. Now why I liked this when I got the sample was it's pink lemonade, not just straight lemonade. So you get a little bit more zing and you get like nobody really knows the flavor of pink lemonade like is it strawberry is it pink candy like what is pink lemonade but that's what sets this apart from like other lavender like lemonade scents because there's like lavender lemonade lavender soda this is lavender lemonade and it's interesting i like it it's different which is what's cool and i feel like this this was poured in 827. I feel like this is going to be a scent where you just put it in your house, you just clean, and it just like clears out the entire house. And then the last non-custom is beans and cream. I was so excited to get this scent, you guys. It was so hyped. Everybody was talking about it, and I love myself some coffee scents. So this is Coffee House. Marshmallow, sweet and creamy coconut shortbread cookies. So the only thing that was throwing me off was the coconut because I don't love coconut. This is good. You, uh, it's good. It's complex. It definitely smells like a coffee, like drink. Well, coffee is a drink. Well, I mean, there's coffee cake, coffee donuts, coffee, you know. It's like a creamy, creamy coffee. I'm not picking up on the shortbread cookie, but I am getting like a sweet and creamy scent like it says on here. Marshmallow, not really. Like, like I said, it's just a sweet, creamy coffee. And this was also poured on 827. Oh, it's yummy. Mm, I cannot wait to melt that. Like, oh, coffee scents. So good. I feel like you can never have enough coffee.
Then we have my two customs. So my two customs were definitely a little bit um, traditional. I didn't want to go too crazy with the blends, but the first one I called Drew's Decadent Delight, and this is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Palo Santo, and Pie Crust. I'm a sucker for Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Palo Santo is my signature scent, and Pie Crust just makes everything better. Oh, it's interesting. I feel like when I... <laughs> this sounds weird. When I smell it, I feel like one side of my nostril is smelling Palo Santo and one is smelling pumpkin pecan waffles, like 50-50. At the same time, I'm like, my nose is going on a journey with this pumpkin pecan waffles. And I'm not mad about it because pumpkin pecan waffles is so rich and decadent. Palo Santo is so fresh and woody. And then pie crust is just perfection. So it's sweet, ooey, gooey with a little bit of that Palo Santo really makes it fresh. Oh, I cannot wait, wait to melt this. And then last but not least is Fall Bonfire, another custom that I created, which is Cranberry Woods, Marshmallow Fireside, and Palo Santo. Again, Cranberry Woods, my favorite cranberry scent ever created for fall. I love that woody, really like smoky element that it adds to cranberry. Marshmallow Fireside, smoky, gooey marshmallow. So we both get the smokies from that. And then that Palo Santo, that fresh, warm, woody scent. I smell the Cranberry Woods. I definitely do. I definitely prefer Drew's Decadent Delight over Fall Bonfire, but... I think the name really fits this. It is like you're outside, you smell like the woody, earthy elements in the air, the woodiness of the Palo Santo, and the creaminess of the Marshmallow Fireside. Again, your nose is on a journey with this one. You're smelling all the elements in the air. Cranberry Woods is tart and smoky. Palo Santo is fresh and woody. Marshmallow Fireside is sweet and gooey. Oh, it's so good. I, again, this is another one I cannot wait to get my hands on. Well, I already have my hands on it, but to let cure and pop it in my warmers. I will say, I'm not having the best of luck with the pharmacist's daughter throw-wise in my house, and I have seen that everywhere on social media and on YouTube. So, I'm gonna let these sit. Again, I'm in no rush to melt my wax. I have so much wax. So I plan on letting these sit for a good while. And what's nice about Lowe's is I'll, my, I'll cut off a piece, pop it in my warmer, see how it is. If it needs to sit, if it needs to sit more, great. If not, like, awesome. I do have one of their warmers that I purchased and it's giving me okay luck. I'm not sure. Again, I do have the air conditioning on full blast all the time still here because it's super hot, not this week, but it's still gonna be super hot and I don't do well with heat. So hopefully, once the air condition is off and I pop these in my warmers, I'll get a better circulation of scent. But right now, I'm still super excited. I'm excited for my Halloween advent. Her scents are amazing. Kim and Ainsley are super sweet people. The Facebook group is super welcoming and I'm really excited to try these, but again, not having the best of luck with throw. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that we will continue to improve and let these sit and cure. And another thing I do wanna add is, these were all poured on 827, so that's pretty fresh. So, I don't know. Hopefully, that was only what, like four days ago, if that, so. And the pre-order was open for a month. I, I don't understand that a little bit, but that's a little strange to me. That's what I'm looking at. Like, I saw on their Facebook that they were posting about um, pouring all these pre-orders and stuff, but meanwhile, every single one says poured 827, which was only four days ago. So, I think there's not enough honesty here on YouTube. I'm being honest and saying that's a little suspicious to me. Why is everything poured on 827? and not like throughout. I thought it was a pre-order that you know, you've been working on for the last month. I don't know. 
So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if everything that you ordered was also poured on 827. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.